Hello, this is Rody5 wanting to check out uh, and show off uh, the signal from Tolva. Um, I don't know if that's how you say it, but uh, basically it's an open world for uh, first person shooter set in a distant, haunted future world. Unlock savage weapons and recruit robots to fight alongside you as a rival faction struggle to discover the sources of mysterious, mysterious signal. Will you find enlightenment or something more sinister? Uh, basically, you play as uh, robots. Um, you've got enemy robots. You've got friendly robots, of course. Um, it looks like a good game. I watched the video on it. Um, it comes out in April. So it comes out soon. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you a video they've got on here. title, The Signal from Tolva. I'm going to quickly run through what the game is about and then get straight on to showing you some of the things that we're most excited about, focusing on combat and how allied robots can help you out. The Signal from Tolva is a science fiction open world first person shooter wrapped inside a mystery. That mystery is what you'll be unpicking as you explore the world we've created. I'm not going to talk too much about that in this video because we want you to unravel that stuff for yourself as you play. What I do want to talk about though are the battles that you're going to be having as you encounter both hostile and friendly robots in the game's sprawling landscape. In the signal from Tolva, you take remote control of a robot chassis on the surface of the planet. When you're not exploring the ruins of alien spacecraft for the origins of the signal, you're going to be fighting enemy factions for control of various locations across the world. The faction you're working with already has a strong presence on the planet but it's down to you to expand that influence and to use their resources to uncover the secrets of the signal. Rival factions are here too, and they're going to be working against you. All this is dynamically driven by the AI. There are no scripted encounters, and all the activity in the world is driven by the bots heading out into the landscape to patrol, to survey ruins and relics, and of course to attack enemy bases. We love this sort of dynamic activity in games because it brings the world to life, and ultimately, results in plenty of action. So let's take a look at a typical encounter. Friendly robots have been dropped off by that shuttle and are now patrolling an area next to the huge relic in this valley. I can check out the status of those robots and almost anything else in the world by using my magnified vision. This tags scanned bots and tells me how they are equipped and what their current mission is. Across the valley I can see another squad of robots, but these guys aren't going to be friendly. Again, we can tag these patrolling robots before we attempt to go in and capture the beacon that we can now see ahead of us. The friendly surveyor robots should help me out if I get into trouble. At the moment, they're not going to directly do my bidding because I don't have the necessary equipment to recruit and command them, but we'll get to that later in the video. For now, I'm going to approach from cover and I'm going to select a weapon that will allow me some punch at range. The allied bots should hear the noise and get involved. Right, here we go. The allied robots getting involved. The guy I've tagged has taken up some cover over there, so I'm going to need to flank round to get a clean shot at him. He's seen one of his allies get taken down, and now he's making a run for it. The beacon here is automatically activated now that the enemy squad has been cleared and that's going to allow me to hack into robots in this area if I need to move around the map. Beacons like that are only secondary locations however. The real business takes place out of these large bunkers. The bunkers, which can be controlled by hostile or allied factions, create patrols of robots which head out into the world to patrol and explore. The bunkers also provide me with a place to repair and equip. We're just going to run into this bunker and take a look at some of that stuff. Here you can see a part of our map screen. 
This highlights possible locations to investigate, as well as missions that we can perform. Those missions are what lead us closer and closer to uncovering the secret of the signal. If we move to the loadout screen, you can see some of the modules that we're able to equip. These include a range of weapons, such as assault rifles, a sniper rifle, and a heavy beam weapon. You can also use the loadout screen to equip area effect upgrades and protective plasma shields. There's a primary and secondary slot for you to choose from when you upgrade. This time, however, I'm going to grab a command module, one of the most powerful tools in the game. You'll have noticed that we have plenty of allied robots marching around, but usually they just get on with their own missions and pay little attention to what I'm up to. The command module changes that, allowing me to recruit bots and to send them to locations of my choosing. Every robot in the game has a specific loadout and mission of its own, and you can see these for yourself when you scan them. Here you can see a couple of guys patrolling an area that they've chosen to guard. Of course, now that I have the command module, I can choose to recruit them. And once I do so, they will follow me until I release them or they are destroyed. Giving them orders is just a matter of pointing and clicking on a location. This comes in handy when investigating new areas or going into locations that you believe to be hostile or dangerous. Fighting alongside allied robots is one of the most thrilling experiences in Tolva. Watching the robots encountering each other dynamically in wide open spaces makes for an experience in which no two battles are ever quite the same. Working with recruits also changes how I might approach attacking an enemy base, as we'll see in this next sequence. My recruits hold position on the slope, allowing me to flank the bandits that they're engaging. Battles like this one can last for some time and are often unpredictable, thanks to patrols from other factions hearing the commotion and coming in to investigate. I can use AOE blasts like this sensor jammer to give my guys an advantage for a few seconds. Once the guards are neutralised, we're able to go in and capture the base. This base, however, leaves us with a drop turret to deal with. The turret has immediately engaged some other group on the far side of it, giving away that we were about to be attacked by the third faction. Once we take the bunker, our own guards will spawn and help us engage this new threat. So the battle continues. There is, of course, more to Tolva than combat, and we think you're going to get a kick out of exploring the weird sci-fi world that we've created. The signal from Tolva is coming in early 2017, and we can't wait to see what you make of it. Check out the Big Robot blog, or follow our Twitter account if you want to keep up with what's going on. Thanks for watching.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, I'm definitely going to get it when it comes out. Um, so uh, I'll base, I'll definitely be uh, making videos on that. Um, I don't know how much it's going to be. It's only single player. Uh, I mean, co-op would be pretty cool on that game. But uh, yeah, it's just single player for now. Or it looks like. Uh, it's not early access. As you can tell, it doesn't have the early access uh, bar right here. So it's actually going to be at the full game. So you don't have to worry about an access, uh, early access. Another early access game. As long as the game runs very well. And it's fun. So it looks very fun. So so yeah. I hope you enjoyed that uh, game preview of that. And my video. Laters.